Have you ever had this problem that you wanted to remember what was the last URL that you used in AnyConnect? Not the last one, but the penultimate one. The one that you used two weeks ago. And simply AnyConnect doesn't give you that option. It used to do it before, but not now anymore. And I don't know what is the reason, and I couldn't find a workaround through the GUI. It's not simply possible by just saving these URLs and saving these usernames that you use to connect to different profiles every time. Maybe you're providing consultancy to like 10 customers, 20 customers, and they call you and tell you, oh, we have a problem, we have an outage, so can you help us? And you'll go like, oh, let me remember what was the URL. As you can see, I can't really find them here. And to be honest, it's not really good. I know you can save it in Notepad++, but that's not really a good way. There is a workaround, and all you have to do is to create a file, which is called preferences.xml, and here you specify that this is my URL. This is the first profile. Just so you know, this is not possible with Mac too. So if you have a Macintosh, whatever version, it has the same problem. So getting back to this, this is the host name. This is the what you may call a friendly name and then the URL. And as you can see, I have the second profile. What I can do is simply copy this and duplicate it and create the third profile. Here, simply, I can just change it to, yeah, William, next generation. Don't blame me for that. You know, you get all sort of next generation. So, yeah. <laughs> and then um, I'm going to change it to my office and then my office URL. And that's it. That's so easy, so simple. All you got to do is to modify this file. And it doesn't need, you know, special knowledge of programming and stuff. And what you have to do after that is to copy this file into a location. In my case, it's C, Program Data, Cisco, AnyConnect Mobility Client, and then Profile. Once you find that path in Windows, all you have to do is to copy this file to that path. I'm going to provide the Mac profile address as well. It's opt Cisco mobility client and then the same thing profile. I'm going to put it on the notes of this video and all I have to do is to restart Cisco AnyConnect and then voila you can see all of them right there home my office and every time I want to change them I can just open this file and make my changes maybe I want to add another URL and then all I have to do is to restart any connect that's pretty much it hope this video has been useful if it was please give it a thumbs up and if you're not a subscriber please consider subscribing